Hello, and welcome to this quick tour of Expression Blend 4. The purpose is not to make you an expert, but rather to help you understand the tool so that you can complete the projects. This project will be used uh, as we work on our multimedia and create our uh, video player as well. To begin with, to give you an idea of some of the things with Expression Blend, Let's take a look at the color swatch. When you sign on, there are many different types of examples that you can look at, and the one that we want to look at will be color swatch. Before we get too far into it, I'm going to select project, build project, then I'm going to select project run project. So before I give you a tour, I want you to see what we're looking at. Part of the idea is to see different user interfaces. To see things jump out at for you when you click and select. To have various information appear for the user. Notice the uh, tabs jump out at you. Notice that what you selected as a user interface or the design is very apparent for what you're working with. So the idea that we're lurking here is to create rich interactive applications. And what we're going to be working on is we want rich applications for both mobile applications, mobile smartphones, as well as what we're going to work on is the media player. Now that we've quickly looked at this application, this is what was opened up. Starting at the top, there's our uh, menu items. File, so we can save or open projects. We can import different file types. Edit. The edit allows us to go through and do your traditional cut, copy, paste, find, and select. View. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, and look at a variety of objects that we're working on. We have objects or our assets or things that are on our drawing board. So we can control the order, align them, We'll talk about combining various objects such that we could combine a circle and a square and unite them to have a new type of object. We'll talk about paths. Paths are the ability to draw uh, objects of our own. So rather than having a circle or a square, we can make up how we want them to look. The project. What we'll be working on a lot is building and running our project. Tools. We'll talk about brushes. Windows. We'll talk about the various uh, tabs that appear. We'll talk about our workspaces from a design workspace or an animation workspace. So part of what we want to do is we want to show you what it how to build these user interface applications, but also we want to work on animation so that we can develop, as you saw uh, in the example, uh, items jumping up uh, so that we can create different movements. Now that that's the menu bar along the top, let's go down the left hand side as you start on the left hand side you'll see that there are our tools our selection and our direct selection our pan where we can grab hold and move zoom in and zoom out so if we needed to zoom in on something we can click on it and zoom on our our, our board so we have a very clear effect our eyedropper, 
so that we can select just the right color. Our paint bucket, our gradient tools, so that if we want to shift uh, the way the uh, colors are moving, we can use a gradient toolbar. Our pen, where we can draw our own objects. Or we can select pre-built objects like the rectangle or ellipse. We can use ordering elements such as the grid or canvas or stack panel that we can place on our artboard so that we can move those uh, the way we wish. Text, so that we can add text to our artboard, as well as buttons, and as well as a variety of other assets. We're not going to get into all of these assets in this course. In fact, we'll get into none of them. But the idea here is there are many, many assets that you can use. These you'll learn in 7420 or 7440 if you choose to take those courses. But these are assets that you could put on there such as charts, um, calendars, uh, you could use the date picker object, many, many different types of assets uh, tab control, time, validation. Again, that's beyond the scope of this course. However, be aware that what you have is a very powerful tool you're working with. As you continue on, we'll look at the uh, tabs at the top. What's the project that we have and we're working on? The project that we have and we're working on has two components. It has the client side, as the server side. Again, we'll get into these in greater details as we look at the project, but be aware what you work on can be a standalone application and run independent, or if you will, you could take this application and link it into your uh, website, and this could be just another page on your website. Uh, we have various asset um, uh, uh, tab. Many different things that we could work on. What we're going to talk about is behaviors. We're interested in various actions that the computer can help us with, such as controlling the storyboard. So when we build an animation, we'll use this to control our storyboard. States and parts are topics for 7440 and 7420. So now that we've briefly covered those, let's run to the uh, right side of the um, screen. And you see we have properties and resources. When you select an object to work with, that property will come up if we've named it. For example, here we've named it explanation. The various properties associated with explanation can come up and you can change them. Uh, things that you could change would be perhaps uh, background color. Uh, things that you could change could be uh, alignment or layout. Things that you could change would be transformation such as rotating or scaling or skewing, many, many things. You've worked on resources and in 6080 you talked about cascading style sheets. Think of these resources as more powerful types of cascading style sheets where you can apply these resources to the project or to the page just as you could cascading style sheets. So we go down to the lower left, there's the objects and timeline. We can work on our objects that you see. We talked about the various uh, different things that were created. And then the timeline. The timeline being perhaps our storyboards. 
So we can create a new storyboard and have the system go through and give us a timeline where we can say certain actions will occur at certain times. We can have uh, elements move in or move out or jump up or jump on. And we'll talk about this animation in greater detail. So what we've started to build for you is a quick overview of Expression Blend. Now granted, this is a user interface tool and it's quite powerful. There's many, many, many pieces we will not get into. We will not touch most of the capability or functionality. What we want to do, however, is get you comfortable enough with the tool by looking at the various features so that when we start to build our um, uh, multimedia uh, video template, that these ideas and concepts and how you can do things are uh, you're aware of. So with that, this is a very brief tour. As you go through the projects, you'll work through the various elements and then when we do our final project again you'll work through it in greater detail. Thank you for watching.